All right, Vigo, I wanted to start with you because obviously you've worked with David quite a few times now. So it was making me wonder what is something about your collaboration that stayed consistent even since day one? And then what's something about Crimes of the Future that called for something a little different? Well, beyond what we're doing in terms of, you know, telling a story uh, in a movie, um, we're friends and there's a trust that's been there from the beginning. So when you trust your director, even if they're asking you to do something really strange or the scene seems challenging in some way. Um, if you trust that person, just personally, it helps. And it also helps if he's proven again and again that the things he's asking you to do, he has a very good reason for, and he can explain them to you if you need an explanation. So, so you, I'm willing to try things for him that I might not so easily try without any questions asked at all, you know, for someone else. I have to follow Trusts. that up now of everything you have to experience in crimes of the future. What is like the absolute peak in terms of strange things he asked you to do that made you maybe pause and think for a minute, but then jump in? Well, it wasn't like the, you know, the body kind of stuff or even some of the unusual kind of emotional transitions it was it was playing a character that was very reactive not sometimes passive but not not exactly passive just more timid in a way sort of contradictory you know he's very secretive he's almost paranoid about his physical and mental state um, and yet his art the art that he performs with his partner caprice is all about literally sharing his innermost physical secrets in public performances. So it's like figuring out what that contradiction is and and how to play a, a character who's basically reactive. You know, he's reacting to what's happening to his body, to what his partner's doing, to the public and to his environment and how it affects him physically. So it was trying to get used to that. That was the most challenging really thing. All right, Leia, I was uh, reading that you uh, originally had been approached to play the role of Tim Lin. So like one, what was it about Caprice that really spoke to you? But also, what is it like approaching a, you know, a master Helmer like David Cronenberg and saying, I know you want me for this role, but I think it's best if I play this role. <laughs> um, I was just like, when I read the script, I, I felt more... Um... I related more to to Caprice because there was like <clears throat> there was something about the relationship that she has with uh, Soul Tensor uh, that I liked and um, and uh, I I I loved the the love story in mm. uh, in the film but um, I could I, I would have played any any role <laughs> you know for <laughs> David. It's uh, it's just you know I just felt that I maybe had more to say with this role. I would be totally down to watch another version of this movie where everybody role swaps. I kind of <laughs> like the sound of exercises like that. Yeah, I like I was I was I was actually interested in a different role in this movie in the beginning too, and then he said, "No, you should play Saul." I like the idea of playing, uh, and maybe it's because I didn't know what to do with this sort of reactive kind of character. So I'd rather play the the Fed, you know, the cop, the part that Welkett plays. Um, but he said, no, no, you should play this one. <clears throat> and and Welkett did such a great job. So, I mean, I can't imagine someone else anyway doing it better. Um, and I would have been deprived. If I'd done that, I wouldn't have been able to play all these scenes with Leia. And, and I agree with her when I first read it. You know, there's all these strange things that happen in the story, but in the center, there is this love story. There's a real trusting, you know, mutual respect kind of relationship between them that's, that's quite tender. It's in the middle of this kind of hardcore movie, there's this very tender, vulnerable love story. 
your connection is really like the beating heart and, and a really strong spine for the movie overall. And, you know, because of that, but in general, I do always love talking about the value of a good scene partner. So for each of you, is there anything that the other did for you on set as a scene partner that you really appreciated and maybe even helped you access something in your own character that you wouldn't have been able to without them? Well, you never know what you're going to get when you work with someone for the first time. You know, I've had times where someone said, oh, you're not going to like it. They're difficult or or you're going to love it. You never know until you're there. But what I got from you was that you're very generous and you're also brave. And so that encouraged me to go for it. And and, you know, I much prefer no matter what the story is about to have a good time working. It's, it's more fun and you usually do better work if you're having, if you're enjoying what you're doing. And because most of our scenes are with each other, <clears throat> the fact that we could laugh at things and sometimes say, do you know what that was? What was that? And you're like, I'm not sure, but he seems happy. Okay. <laughs> no, but there was a complicity and, and, and we were able to laugh at ourselves and at the situation sometimes, which I think is healthy, you know, especially when you're doing strange scenes. For me, uh, I mean, to work with Vigo, I've heard terrible things about him that he was like a nightmare to work with. So really? I was a bit scared. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Not at all. Uh, everybody was, every, I mean, Vigo is like loved um and uh, very respected uh i was but i was also i mean it's also a re the reason why i i wanted to to be part of the film is that i wanted to work with vigo um because i i i i love him as an actor <laughs> and as a human being as well but what i love in in the process of um filmmaking when you when you work uh, on a film is also the relationship that you have with your your uh, collaborators and it's in a way it's a bit like in the film uh, Soul Tensor and my character Caprice are together and they are both performers and so it's exactly what we had on set I think mm. uh, and um, I think the key when you work with with someone in general is that to to um, because you 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 are very vulnerable mm -hmm. when you act, you open you open up <laughs> uh, in a way like in the movie. Um, and uh, what I loved about Vigo is that he was he was very attentive. And uh, and I think it's also uh, you have to listen. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were I think we were like really. Like f from the the minute from the minute we met, yeah. like uh, we had like a connection. Yeah. We, it's it's, and it's true that it's uh it's I mean it's based on, also an intimate, um, connection, that yeah. you have, yeah. and it will it's 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 it helps. That's, um, it helps and it's, what you see on on the screen as well. It's yeah. uh, it's about I mean cinema for me is also about intimacy. So it's something that that we've created together in a way. Mm. Is mighty powerful in the finished film. So again, huge congratulations. I could stay here and ask you a million more questions, but they won't let me. So congratulations and Thank enjoy the release. Much.